Hurry up, coffee pour. We need to get to the talk. We are fucking excited tonight, folks. No, I'm, I'm just, I'm just okay, you know. All right. <laughs> Guys, it's it not is that special going on. <laughs> not at all, at all. Hello and welcome to Coffee with Crachel, where we normally discuss how much we're suffering, but not today. Don't get ahead of things. We have to keep our structure. We oh, gotta right. talk about this coffee. I know. We're uh, gonna fucking talk about it and we made a brew to match the mood. Yes. This is from a lovely person named Stephanie. And this is the Door County Coffee and Tea Company. And the flavor is pumpkin spice. For this pumpkin spice bencho over Chris here. Chris <laughs> is in his fucking absolute prime right now. Now, I've taken a oh, few sips, and good. I have already said this to Chris before we started recording. I have not liked any pumpkin spice flavored coffee besides Wawa's. We tried the Trader Joe's one, and it was just horrible. This is really fucking good. This is like, honestly, it tastes very similar to the Wawa one, yeah. but a little bit less cinnamony. So this is delish. It's limited edition. Which very interesting. It came in like a single kind of package for a 12 cup It looks brewer. like we're trading Pokemon cards, and I kind of love it. <laughs> like the, the but a very bags. autumnal Pokemon card. Oh yeah, there's like fall leaves all over it. And it's also like foil shiny. It says, the perfect pairing of cinnamon, cloves, and nutmeg, our most popular fall coffee. And guess what? We can see why, clink. (laughs) I mean, fuck. That was just a lot. But yeah. It's absolutely delicious. Everything, I mean, you could have served me a brewed pot of shit and I would have been like, it's top notch. Because today... Even though lots of bad things happened today to make up for the really good thing that happened, today was a solid day. And let it be known that today was the day that we got our fucking shit together. November 2nd, 2015. A good... Right before the end of the year, so it wasn't like 2015 was a total piece of shit. I mean, I did have good times. There were ups like, and Like, the downs. fact that I got Xbox in this year, and, like, I had that time, like, that was fun for a time. There were, de- I had some good moments here and there. Yeah. But, like, overall, a lot of, a lot of things A lot happened. of poop. But we're good. Um, so. Let's just, let's, let's, let's just stop, fucking talk. you know, there's, I'm sure there are people out there who don't follow us anywhere except listening to this show. And so let's let's re, let's back up a little bit. Um, if you have been listening to the podcast for a little while, you'll know that we've had some struggles with job issues regarding Christopher. Yeah, I mean, literally, literally, the entire time that this show has been running, I've been unemployed. Wow. Exactly. I That's, just like, realized that. We, yeah, we didn't start the podcast until after you got laid off at Microsoft and we were devastated. Because I was, like, fucking really upset and I was like, I don't want to start this new project up right when this is happening. But then we did it. It turns out to be the greatest, to, like, one of the greatest decisions of this year. It was, like, one of the top things that happened in 2015. So. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Thank you, guys. <laughs> so, that's really wild to put into perspective. And... I'm feeling a massive amount of relief, and, like, I'm feeling my life is back. Like, I feel like for the last three months, we've been on hold. Like, we literally haven't been doing anything, and we've just been in this, like, stress bubble that, like, you know, On hold, but us. also, like, we were just, like, kind of used to the We were getting life. used to suffering. <laughs> like, we were getting used to the fact that I was just sitting here not doing things. Not you were having, doing things, like, just you, you weren't know, getting things. Yeah. And yeah. things were getting fucked. So, anyway. Well, let me just, like, start back to the beginning of the day. Because today I actually did start, like, a temp job. Because I got a temporary job to just cover until I got something. And, you know, it was great. It's at a pet insurance company. And it's <laughs> I love it. fucking awesome. And it's there's lots of pictures of pets everywhere. And I am I had a good day. Like There I was also, a bean toe. There was a zoomed in, like high quality black and white artistic photo of a cat's bean dose. <laughs> and like nothing screams me more than that. And honestly, what another perfect little key to fit into my like eclectic work history. Like this is the job that you have right now until this one starts that's like 
the adult fucking job that you want, and like it's just so it's just another notch on your weird work belt. And I love yeah. it so much because you get to read other people's fun pet names all day, and that's yep. just a a joy. I bet. Oh, it was fabulous. It was the best part of the day. I know. You were sharing them with me. It was great. <clears throat> so, yeah, I've started this temp job today, and it's going to last for a couple of weeks. It's supposed to end just before Thanksgiving, which is perfect, because then I have time off for Thanksgiving. And, I mean, I figured, like, a couple of weeks, I'll have my shit figured out by then, right? Hopefully. Oh, yes, it did fucking get figured out. Oh, I can't believe <laughs> First it. First day back to work, and, like... Life flipped itself and was like, okay. I wow, guess- life is strange. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, today's literally the day that it was just like, okay, we're just gonna like flip you back now. You got a job and you got another job. <laughs> and, like, like, fuck, you, you, Oprah gave you a lot of things. You know? <laughs> Everybody gets a job. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Like, like, that's how it would work out because we were saying, like, it would be really solid if you could get something by the end of October. Like, we'll obviously have something by the end of October. Like, blah, blah, blah. Literally, you get it, like, the second day in November. So it's like, they just, the universe was like, fuck you and your ideas. But, but we're not gonna fuck you up too much. The universe also knows knows that november is like one of our best months of the year it, it's if our not, it's the our best month. It, okay let's just talk really fast about november november is fall as hell like that's the, of the, that's heart, of the heart of fall like god damn it you said <laughs> it right there then it's fucking i mean fallout the, hearth, of the fall. hearth my hearth will go on fallout obviously comes out on the 10th fall fall out. You know, fall out. Yeah, okay. And oh, God. <laughs> I'm getting excited. Chris is, Chris is jittering. Um, so, I mean, now you can fucking pre-order that or whatever and Yo, not feel like a piece of shit. So. I'm going to probably later today. And I'm Do it. To I want feel... I want you to buy six copies and just, like, honestly spread them from I'll the be Oprah. Table. You get Fallout and you get Fallout and you get Fallout. I just want to buy something really luxurious except for I'm not a fucking idiot. So I'm probably <laughs> just going to buy myself some salt and vinegar chips and we're going to call it a night. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, so we have that and then it's our anniversary. It's a huge one. It's five. Like, it's a pretty significant number. Then it's the chunk versary, the chunkening. And then it's Thanksgiving and then Black Friday and then it's like Christmas time. So like... A lot of stuff. Starbucks Red Cups came out today. Yeah, like, like you want to see Chris feeling the guilt buying an eggnog latte? No, no. you don't want to see Now that. you can buy five billion, I'm sure. Not really. We're really going to be, like, not assholes. Okay. <laughs> We're so, not fucking stupid, but I, I wanna, just feel I'll, so relaxed. I want to rewind a little bit. Like, I want to go through kind of, like, the day because things happened today. Like Today, the way, if we've, we've mentioned this multiple times... The way our lives work is if someone is having something really, really good happen to them, something usually that they really want to happen, the other person has to suffer as fuck. Like, yeah. just so much. Or just, like, both people have to have... Like, a lot of happen. shitty things happen. You know, and karmic honestly, balances. That's just how our lives work. So, like, I, you know, I got... You got the Bing job, I say with air quotes. I got my computer. Then you were told that you didn't get the Bing job. Like, yeah. That's how it worked, you know? And that's just, like, one example. That's but just like, one. Um, shit, today, well, I went in to this new job, and you were just not feeling really good today. Oh, my God. I had the worst cramps and, like, we read horoscopes this morning because... Yeah, that, oh, that's what I was going to That's kind of how like. we started our day. Because I was like, today was Monday, and I was like, there's a chance we could hear back from the job that you had tried to apply for or whatever on Friday, yep. interviewed for. And I was like, there's a possibility we're going to hear about it, so I'm going to read the horoscope. Horoscope was like, basically, he's got this. Horoscope <laughs> was like, your Pisces are going to have, like, the best out of, like, all of the other signs. Like, we're going to have the best month. And they were like, you're going to have a lucky, the luckiest time of the day for you is 10 a.m. 10.30 a.m. rolls around and my uterus decides to descend. (laughs) And, (laughs) and, like, if you know me at all, you probably don't. My, I get the worst cramps ever now that I'm not on the pill. So, like, it's just god-awful and I've been putting off, like, going to, you know, various doctors during all this. So, like, you know, maybe one day I'll fucking do that. But, like, the cramps were really bad. You're at work, like, just doing, you know, mundane shit at this temp job, whatever. Then I actually got a call from a contract company 
pitching me a job for Microsoft. And it would be a contract job then? And it would have been a contract job. Fuck And that. like, even though at this point I hadn't heard back from anything, I was actually waiting back on like a couple offers from like a couple different places. And I know that and if like, you hadn't heard back from the one that you got today, that you probably would have interviewed for that one. And like. I, and like, yeah, I know I've been bitching, but also like, I need a job. So like, <laughs> I, I would have like gone through with it and I listened to what it was and I said, sure, I'd be interested and blah, blah, blah. I ain't interested anymore, so suck my ass as I drink out of a Microsoft mug. <laughs> <laughs> I have the Star Trek one, so trek into this. <laughs> I keep clinking. And so, we should have had champagne. Honestly. Honestly? Like, the shitty kind that you can buy, like, anywhere. Anyway. So, I had that happen, and in a way, it was kind of just like, it was, yeah, a job offer, but it was also just like rubbing it in my fucking face. Yeah. So... Oh, I'm trying to think, like, you were just literally, like, dying I was day. just in the fetal position all day and shit, and then I had my own crap. So, like, you know. So, then, like, it was getting later and later in the day, and I was getting more and more dismayed that I wasn't going to hear back today, and it just really sucks, because then, like, you know, I, like, can't fall asleep a fucking night, because I'm like, oh my god, like, I have to wake up tomorrow morning, and hopefully I'll have an email. And, yeah, like, can we just so talk excited. about, like, we literally got, I would say I got... Maybe two hours of sleep. Oh, yeah, last definitely night. me. I got like two hours of sleep because I'm just like. We were up all night talking about like how oh, Monday could bring things. Also, there was a giant, like, random ass explosion in the middle yeah. of the night that, like, I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was, but it, something definitely Exploded. did not stay together <laughs> at that point. Um, at one point, I broke one of my nails. It happens to be my middle finger, and this is how much of I don't give a shit. And I always she just get flipped very, off the microphone. I always am very upset when I break a nail because these nails are very precious to me because it took me like twenty years to break a fucking nail biting habit. So when I break one, it's like it's like my babies. I don't yeah. know. It's so stupid, but like I care. And so normally I'm like, oh, this is horrible. My hands are hideous. And now I'm like, I. Honestly, I'm going to rock this little, like, short middle finger look, and I don't give a shit. Put a Band-Aid on it. Like, who cares? That was my trauma. Like, so, honestly, it was really just the cramps, which... It, I don't care. I would have... Honestly... I said to you... I, like, texted you. I was like, I don't even care if, like, I didn't... I was, like, late, and I was, like, pregnant in this moment. Like, I don't even care. And you were like, wait, hold on. And I was like, okay, you're right. But, like, also, like, that's so, like, how jovial That's we pretty were. much, like, everything that happened up until I finally... I got the email. The email I had been waiting for for the past... Like, three days. Three days. For but really, like three months. months. Yes, exactly. I Metaphor got thing. the job offer from some place that was not Microsoft. It's not Microsoft that I'm working for now. I'm not going to say where I'm going to be working, because it does not start until December. And I'm going to just protect this because I've just worked so hard for this and, like, I don't know what could happen, but I'm just, I'm paranoid. <laughs> and so... At this point... I can tell you that it's a technical support job. Like, it's, it's the same kind of shit I was doing, more along the lines of what I was going to be doing at Bing than what I was doing at Xbox, which is, like, more specialized support. It's for brands, too. Like, it's not, like, customers, too? It, Yeah. I know I, you're not trying to, like... I, I don't I want to go too to much into it, but yeah. So like, Anyway, it's a better fucking job than Xbox, okay? <laughs> it's a better job than Xbox. Literally zero commute. Like, when I was talking about Bing, I was like, yeah, it's like five blocks down the road. It's gonna be super sick. I'm gonna fucking walk to work. This is literally, like, up my ass. <laughs> oh my god, and it's like... It's unreal. And that's great, because fuck, no traffic, no I mean, gas. Yeah, I mean, the job I'm commuting to right now is in Bellevue, which is, like, not as far as Xbox was, but it's still, like, a fucking commute. Where's Bellevue? Like... It's just, like, directly across the lake from okay. here. So, like, I mean, Bellevue, like, Seattle is fucking huge, so it kind of, like, Seattle... It stretches. Is, Seattle is one side of the lake. The other side of the lake is Bellevue, Redmond, Kirkland. <laughs> so, like, what, is it, like, Bellevue, and then Redmond, and then the farthest way is Kirkland? Like, no, it's, like, going, like, south to north. Bellevue, Redmond, Kirkland. Oh, it's up north. Oh, okay. Kirkland's northmost, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so, like, I'm commuting to Bellevue now, which is, like, whatever. But this is literally, like, 
Oh my god, it's so close. It's, it's, it's so good. It is so amazing. It's zero commute, and honestly, like, that's one of the worst parts of, like, a lot of jobs, is the driving there, and, like, it just made me frustrated all the time, especially when I'd be in traffic for, like, an hour and a half, and, like, that's you just... You get to walk past it. It's I get to walk up. past it, and it's, like... I can meet you for lunch any time. I could probably... No, I'm not gonna... Uh, well, I mean, like, I could come back, like... It, yeah, it would not be a problem, but it would. All, it depends on how long your break is, because if yeah. it's like a half hour, that's like, a fucking uh, stretch. Yeah, that's a stretch. But because like, you have yeah. to want to have time to like eat your fucking food. I don't know what your life is, but whatever. You could definitely meet me, and like we could fucking do something. We could fuck, honestly, like honestly. on your breaks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not. Um. So. Uh, that's definitely, that's cool. <laughs> there's a lot of other sick ass perks that come with this job that I wish I could talk about, but like I'm just trying to protect it, and so I'm not trying to be vague on purpose. Yeah, well, we're not a- trying to like raise hype or whatever. I'm li- we're just adults trying to like not fuck our lives up, but like it's a really we really awesome are gig. we're pumped to be sharing this amazing news with all of you f- since you guys have been listening and just hearing this whole fucking story, and it's honestly been so we haven't talked like all right. Here's something. You haven't talked to your parents in months, honestly, since this all started, because it's been kind of uncomfortable. Like, I talked to them when I got big, and and up until that point, I was talking to them, because I was just like, yeah, hey guys, I got a new fucking job. And And then then, when that went down. Then when that went down, I was like, I don't, I just like, I can't handle just like telling them about this, and like... Them not really just, understanding. Like, and, like, getting words of, like, what they think I should do and stuff like that. It was just, like, I just can't... I can't do all this right now. Like, I've got what I'm supposed to be doing under control. And, like... And I just need to be, like, within myself at this moment. And, like, like, I know them. And, like, I know that they probably wouldn't know or be able to think of all that you... Like, all the hours... <laughs> that were spent into that job plan. Like, I don't think they would probably be... Because it's it's parents, so they're always going to be like, you know, well, are you actually, like, looking for a job or whatever? And it's like, you have no fucking idea. Like, holy shit. You probably put in way more than 40 hours a week trying to look for jobs. Yeah, sorry. I'm just dying on coffee over here because I went down the wrong pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Round down. I'm just, like, so fucking Down pumped. the wrong pump. Pumpkin. Another thing that I didn't say that's a fucking perk about this is that... It's not a contract position. It's through this it's company. It's through the company. So, like, I've been hired by them. No middleman. No, like, there's a time limit to this position. Because, like, when I started at Xbox, there was a time limit. It was 18 months. And, like, when I was going to go to Bing, it was going to be, like, eight months was, like, the time that I was going to be there. Yeah. There's literally no time limit to this job. Like, I'm just hired in there, and it's done. And there's room to move up, which is good. <clears throat> and there's tons of room to move up. Yeah. And I'm... Super pumped. I know. I'm super pumped. <sighs> Everything is alright. It's just like, after all of that, and like, the weird kind of like limbo we've been in, it's just honestly, I'm still, I feel like, it felt really nice when you were like at work today though, because it felt like we were kind of like getting back into our yeah, routine, yeah. even though you weren't like leaving as early, but like, it just felt like we were in a routine, I got a lot of work done too, and I felt very productive, and I felt like I could fucking breathe, And, like, then when you got the news, I was like, now I really can finally feel relief. And, like, I've been in therapy, and, like, this is all we've been talking about. And I know that it's, like, annoying because, like, I have other things that I want to work on about myself. And, like, but this was, like, the only thing we're thinking about because this was, like, the main issue right now. And now that can just be finished, and we can go back to our lives, and we can work on just being all right. And it's like, it's a little weird because, like, I don't start until December, but I can just, like, breathe easy for this month. Knowing that no, you're working yeah, and, and then like, you have off for Thanksgiving <laughs> and then you're starting up your brand new job just in time for the holidays. Yeah, I know. It's all fucking. It's so fabulous. perfect. It literally could not have worked out better, which is why I think we were put through hell. Because. It, it, it ended up being better than Bing, too. Like, it, it ended up being, like, the best possible scenario that happened, which is fucking crazy. So. Yeah. Now, like, I hope this isn't, like, some sick fucking cycle my life goes through. It's like, you're going to get this cool thing. Just kidding, we're going to take it away for something better. Just kidding, we're going to take it away for something better. 
I, I want to get off that ride. Like, I'm here. I got something yeah. that's really good, and I I'd honestly, like to stay. <laughs> do you feel a little uncomfortable, like, filming the podcast? Because there's part of me that's just like, but what if they pull the rug out again? Because, like, honestly, I'm a little worried. <clears throat> it does But worry I read me, the but... email they sent you, and you're already doing things. So, yeah. I, I'm feeling... I mean, uh, you, they you, they offered it. It happened. Yeah. Like, it's, and, it's and all... It wasn't a dream. Oh, and, my God. Like, and, like, the only way I'd be in any way worried is if I got offered a job and it was from Microsoft. Because, like, I know it's like, oh, contracts. Like, oh, my God, what's going on? Yeah, but, like, it's a totally it's, different company. Thank totally God. totally different. So... All new. You've never put in any time there. They can't fuck you up. There you go. Boom. Perfect. It's good. That's and what And it's on like. brand for you as a person and what you yeah. want to be doing. And you're yep. doing tech and it's even higher level than, like, what you've been doing. So it's yep. like... And then the resume boost. We haven't even discussed that. And, yeah, so it's... All good things, man. We're very, very happy. Fuck. <laughs> There's really <laughs> nothing else to say. I mean, I mean, I haven't been, like, uploading videos consistently just because I've been so fucking, like, upset and stressed out. And I'm like, I can't. I, I just don't. And now I feel like I can fucking like, do th- it again. There was, like, another job that, like, I was supposed to have heard back from, like, two weeks ago. Still haven't heard back from. And I'm, like, being an annoying piece of shit. It's like, hey, how's it Following going? Up, yeah. What's going on? And you really yeah. wanted that one because it was, like, a social media job. Yeah, that was a sick ass job too, and like I still haven't heard back from that one yet. They'll probably tell you. Like, oh my, tomorrow. like I'm, I'm just expecting now I'm gonna get like 25. Like, I did get like three other emails today, being like, we'd like to have you for an interview for wow. things that I've applied for, and it's like, honestly, suck my ass. I know like, that always happens. Like, I got Bing, and then like I got like five other jobs, and I turned them all down. Now, now, granted that this all is fine and like everything runs smoothly, because now I am gonna be paranoid ever since the fucking Bing job, because like that yeah, was I really know. fucked up. But, like, now that we've done that or whatever, I feel like we're going to look back on what we went through and we're going to be like, we made it. And when we, like, think about, like, I feel like next Halloween we're going to be like, this was the time of the year that everything got better again. So I feel like we're going to be, like, rejuvenated. Yeah. We're going to always hate August. It does suck, though, because, like, you are right. Like, that whole experience of being really put a sour taste in my mouth and, like, as excited as I am right now, I also have some I, anxiety about yeah, it. Yeah, I have yeah. some anxiety because I'm like, well, at least I'm not alone in that. I don't know, like until I step my foot in that front door, first day of work, and yeah. I'm there, I will not be like 100. percent I mean, ready. They're to already go. doing like the paperwork and like background checks and all the other stuff that you do. Yeah, so like, now once I'm those that paperwork fucking... things go through, I'll feel like a lot more confident. Um, did you even get to do the background checks and shit for Bing? Did you even get to that point? I went through everything. I literally signed the paperwork. I signed everything. Oh, okay. Well, that doesn't make me feel good. I did everything. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but it was it was the only reason this I This is different. Like, this I tried is, to, like, you never worked for this company. It's I tried different. to justify it to myself. I'm always still going to be worried. Like, you know, it just like hardened me for like just like yeah. the job world. You've put a wall up against the job world. I know, I know. This is what anxiety is. It's like you can think about like how it's totally unrealistic and how like you're, you know exactly what's going on, but like you still can't shake how fucking shitty you feel because you're just not gonna f- until you're totally verified. I guess like yeah. that's the word I'm looking for. Like, verified. and me being totally verified will be me walking in the front door first day. Yep, and it won't be that long of a walk. So that's good news. <laughs> I am obviously I am extremely happy for you and I'm ready to fucking just get back to our lives man and let me tell you you guys on fucking Twitter are like the chillest fucking people you guys are so nice and all of your kind words and like sending positive vibes and everything that you guys have done has just been like amazing and like, I was getting, like, so emotional, just, like, I was reading all these tweets while I was sitting there, and it just made me feel so happy, because I had all these people that were rooting for me, and, like, were genuinely really happy that yeah. I got this. And I it, saw one that was, like, these two friends, they took a screenshot yeah, of, yeah. like, a text message, and they were celebrating, like, he had been going through all this shit, and then he finally got it, and they were, like, celebrating, like, and it was just, like, so wild to me, because that's how we were feeling, we were so excited, and, like, it was just so nice to see somebody people said that, were, that, like... I was giving them hope because that they were like in a job hunt situation. Yeah, and that they can get their stuff, and they had just put in an application for somewhere. Like, yep, <sighs> a good day. 
a good fucking day. I've put in so much work. I'm ready to reap my rewards. I know. I'm, my Bing rewards. <laughs> <laughs> Still using them. Still fucking using them. Whatever. I mean, it's great. So when do I throw this Microsoft mug out the window? I know. I know. <laughs> when are we melting the Xbox? Down? <laughs> um, we need. We have Sling on that, so we can't. Oh my god! I've been watching a lot of Sling these past oh, few months, oh and it's god. been free because he keeps making new emails, <laughs> and we're still probably going to do that <laughs> because who cares? Honestly, come and find me, Sling. We can talk. Yeah. Why don't you just give us a sponsorship? I genuinely love them, though. Like, please. Um. Yeah, all good things, man. All fucking good things. I also got an email oh. today for Coffee with Rachel, and it was um, from someone who they said that in their college class, they took like a human sexuality class, and they were taught about same sex, um, oh, sex yeah, yeah. ed. If you guys taught, that was last That was the last episode, yeah, yeah. Last episode, yeah. I mean, they did say they were like, it sucks that it's like in college, and so like, you know. Oh, it's a college thing. Right yeah. Okay. I haven't heard of a high school, but I'm sure it exists in some hippie ass place in the world. I hope so. I hope. I mean, like, that'd be sick. We can only but hope. hey, if it's at least being taught somewhere, that's at least something, you know? I know, but it does suck that no, it's like... No, I, I yeah. know, I know. And that wasn't, like, we had human sexuality at our fucking school, and it was not... I like, didn't take it, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I didn't take it either, but I'm sure it did. <laughs> we're in Lancaster fucking Pennsylvania, like... People, I didn't... Yeah, whatever. I didn't even, like... The ending to this whole story is like everything happens, and then I locked myself out of my car on the way home from work. Oh, right. Like I leave, I go to leave work, and I'm like, "Where the fuck are my keys?" And I was like, "You know what? They're in my fucking car." And so I go to my car; they're there. Thank God I have AAA, and they were they came within like 15 minutes and oh got me out of the car. But it's just like, of course, of course, I haven't done this in like a, at least a year. I feel like you haven't done it since you moved here. I, I have done it once here, but it was like. A long ass time ago. Oh, I don't even remember it. So like, I have done it, but like, I didn't even care. Of course, it happens today. Like, it's just like, oh, we just gotta like, gotta give you because I wanted you you to get home. I wanted you to get home so I could hug you. I just wanted you to be home so we could celebrate. I know. And then it took you forever because you had to wait for AAA. But like, honestly, I don't care. Take the car, burn it. Like, we don't need it. Shit. (laughs) (laughs) Like, honestly. They can take every day. I don't know who they are, but whoever the is aliens. doing it, they, they can take everything. Just leave me, the cats, and my highlighters, and <laughs> I am good brow products. God damn it. So many hydrocolloid pads we can buy. I mean, fuck. <laughs> I just feel a lot better about life. I feel a lot more secure. I feel a lot more relaxed and at ease. And the greatest part is that I'm going to be able to sleep tonight. I a know. whole night of peaceful, restful sleep, and, and like I that's, love that. That is awesome because that's not happened in a while. I love that. I'm very happy. So I'm just okay. You know, we're like, just right. you know we're obviously a little gushers right now because we're, oh my God. we're happy. Why don't you pull up some of the Patreon? There was some comments that I wanted to read, and I also want to read a few of our iTunes reviews because I've looked through them recently, and they are hilarious. And if you ever want to leave us a review on iTunes, totally do that because they're hilarious and it's fun to read. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. What are you doing? We're loading things. <laughs> yeah, this is this is kind of the part of the show. You, like, a lot of shows have, like, these formulas. And our part four or whatever, like, you know, that's just us trying to load things. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee with Rachel. So, oh, I wrote WAF. <laughs> that's not what? what the fuck we are. Whatever. Anyway. So. So. How are you? I feel like you're feeling pretty good. All right, do you want me to read reviews first? Because I got them pulled up. Yeah, go for it. All right, I'm just going through. I love this one. The title is Robust Yet Subtle. Coffee with Rachel is a perfect blend of dark humor with a thoughtful aftertaste. (laughs) The fullness of the robust body really hones in the importance of podcasts in today's busy life. I was really taken to Flavortown, but in a very elegant and chunky way. I also appreciate the feline representation in such a human-dominated world. We truly (laughs) don't see it enough. Would recommend to people and felines alike. Bless. (laughs) (laughs) Love that one. And then this one just says, like, the, the... the subject is okay, but honestly, and then it says, "Who was I before this podcast?" And it's just five stars. Like oh that's my God. the fucking review. 
I loved the one that this it's, this one says ten out of ten would clink. Oh, clinky. Yeah, I loved that. Oh, I know you. <laughs> okay. This one I really liked because I figure, like, a lot of people that listen to the podcast knew us from, like, social media slash my YouTube channel, whatever. Yeah. And this one I love because it's like, IDK who you guys are, but I love you, LOL. Hey, guys, I decided to listen to your podcast because it kept on appearing in the new and noteworthy portion of the podcast app, so I gave in. Yeah, keep doing that somehow because just, let's do <laughs> I, it. I, I, like, we say that it might happen, but, like, I never really, like, expected. That know? was fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> it says, I love me some coffee and I love when strangers tell me stories about their past. Cool people. Shout out to you guys one time. That's awesome. Like, they don't even, you're just here and you don't even know who the fuck we are. I love that. Oh, my God. Intrigue. <laughs> I love how intimate and honest this is, not to mention funny. So basically, my favorite episode so far is the childhood stories, aspiring binge, and future cat owner. You get that cat. You fucking get that cat. Um, I'm trying not to read, like, you know, I just want to read the funny ones. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to sound like I'm really... This one just says, this podcast really bakes my beans. <laughs> and that review really seasoned my... Brisket. Br- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's money. Grab yourself a cup of Wawa and head straight to Flavortown with this robust blend. Like, <laughs> this is a fucking review. Like, honestly, anybody that like has no idea what our show is about reading these reviews, I, I know. love it. Listen, this one says, How could anyone not enjoy the ramblings of Rachel, complete with the soothing sound effects of urine, traffic, and litter boxes? <laughs> <laughs> this podcast guarantees you'll always be up to date on Starbucks pumpkin spice schemes. Whether you're a bench or just love a good chunk, this podcast is for you. Oh my god, give it a listen and find out what's really underneath Robert Irvine's black shirt. Oh my god. This is, <laughs> that's like such, that's just so, that's money. <laughs> hey, oh god, I clicked my own podcast. Oh my god. I mean, there's just, do you have any questions pulled up? Yeah, I mean, I got some things here, but. Okay, I don't want to sound like I'm vain, but honestly, I love our fucking podcast. Why don't you pause on those, we'll go back to them if we feel like it. Pause cast. Go for it. All right. I mean, uh, somebody asked us if we could design our own video game. What would the story be and protagonist characters be like? Ooh, that's a great question. Sorry, I'm getting some more creamer. So um, my job would be uh, <laughs> the Eternal Quest for a job. Or what your, my, your my, video my game, game would be the Eternal Quest for a job, and like uh. you know the. Tasks are like writing resumes and going to interviews. No, nah. I'm fucking kidding. Like, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. We would probably, at least I know, I would do a story game with, like, a really, really dark storyline with really horrible, fucked up, hard decisions. Yeah. And the decisions really affect things, okay? Like, fuck. And in the finale, we won't just give you two and make one of them shitty, you know? No. Oh <laughs> okay, life is straight. Um, we love you, though. And what, the protagonist... Uh, what would they be like? Oh, God. I feel like I'd love to make a character like... Like... A furry. Like, <laughs> uh, like Squeezy. I was gonna say Squeezy. Like, his, like, demeanor, where he's just, like... He's very smart and swift, but you know he's, like, a dick. You know, like, a Donald Draper with, like, less booze. Oh, my God. What if there was a story game, like, set in the Donald, like... What if there like was a Mad Men video game that wasn't Man. shitty yeah. for some reason? Yeah, it was, all... like, a story game. I mean, I'd fucking make that game. If it was, like, just Betty Draper. <laughs> if it was just... Never mind. Um, so... <laughs> oh, my God. question. Now, uh, what's your fave kind of Mexican food? As a level 420 Mexican, this is be important to me. <laughs> um, wow. That's a tough question, because I... I, there's never been something that I've had that was Mexican food that I didn't like. So, I mean, just douse me in cilantro and call me mama. Like, honestly, oh my God. it's all I want. But my favorite? Oh, God. Like, I just... I don't... Ah, that's uh, so difficult. I would say, like... I love empanadas. And I love... Carne asada, I love. I ah, just love everything, really. But I I like, just make love... me some really good like street tacos, like the real yeah, small ones. Yeah, them. Tons of cilantro and lime, like a nice, really good spicy pork in there with like maybe some charred corn and like a little bit of like onion Take and tomato. Me to just fuck me up, like those flavors and cilantro. 
a lot of it. <laughs> I mean, Jesus. Anyway, yes. <laughs> what if I was like Tostitos scoops? Like, oh that's my, my god! Favorite. No, on the border. Oh my god. They do have some good fucking salsa, though, but I know there's a yeah, Pinterest restaurant hack or some shit. It's fine, I just aspirated my pumpkin spice. <laughs> I always seem to do that. It's okay. God, these cramps. They can stop. Um, I, I mean, like there I wasn't can... many more, like, questions, per se. Oh, okay. Adrian. Well, I mean, what time is it, anyway? How long have we been recording? I feel like this one could be a little bit shorter because we didn't really prepare. <laughs> I mean, we were just excited. We were just, like, really excited about life. Um, what's going to happen after this? We're going to stop recording. We're going to get some fun to celebrate. Yes. And then I'm going to pre-order Fall for. And, and then, then I'm going to play Sims for the rest of the night while you honestly jerk off. And honestly, <laughs> just do it. Like, I, when you sent me the fucking email, I, I think my first text was like, I'm wet, right? Like, uh, I think that was my God. Like, it, might, it might have been, at least Brie was like, I'm soaked, like, when I told her about it. <laughs> Everyone's been so supportive. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's been really great. Oh my god, are you going to talk to your parents soon and tell them, like, all the shit you've been through? Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm going to have to call them at some point. I know, yeah. Do I know. had to do that before, like, I make, like, this Facebook stats. It's like, hey, yeah, like, I have this other After job. After many a trial and trib. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Tribbing. Anyway. Uh, Tribby. <laughs> <laughs> oh god um so yeah i mean, I mean you're gonna make macaroons later this week <laughs> i mean yeah like i'm looking at the calendar right now like i have a pretty good week we have you know you're working and i'm working and then i've got like therapy and then i'm hanging out with rebecca we're making macaroons together and then after that it's fallout week and then after that it's anniversary it's just a lot of things and i'm very excited yeah. and for once i'm looking forward to the days in the future in front of me yes yes isn't that nice instead of God. with apprehension it's so fucked up because i just made that video on my channel where i was like defeated as fuck and like honestly i had hit like my like i was just dead when i made that video so like it was real but like it's just so <sighs> fucked up that like of course like as soon as like i address it you know and like talk about it oh that was like a week ago or something i, mean, I know <laughs> it feels like time has not honestly, been that... right oh yeah i know like... we lost months of our lives i feel we tried we to did. do as much as we could but it was just like we just literally we did like, a lot of low-key hangs that's it like yeah it's just it's really just hard to like try to strum up like the energy to do something like fun with people when you just have so much going on so like it was nice when we had like just friends come over and like chill and like the times that we did, like, go out for coffee with a couple people, because that's not, like, it's, like, a low-key thing to do. And, yeah, if you're ever in Seattle and you're a binge or, you know, a listener of Coffee with Rachel, hit us up. Cause we've... And we've been, like, really terrible with, like, just responding to, like, everything. So, like, if we've missed things, it's not, like, a personal offense. It's just, oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I've been, like, really upset. And so, like, I'm really <laughs> shitty at responding to things. I've been terrible on social media. Oh, I know. I've been fucking horrible with the Twitter for the show. Like, I've I been know. terrible. We're fine, though, now. Like, we'll be good. I mean, yeah. And we I gotta just... get out. The, the one thing that I'm upset about is, like... We, we had this awesome plan for the fucking Secret Santa, and we were, like, so excited about it, and, like, if it were up to us, like, we would have already been sending out details about it, but we've had this, like, whole shit going on, and so we really, like, did not have the fucking time or the energy to be, like, working on it, and then plus it would have cost money and stuff, and so I don't think it's gonna be able to happen this year because it's already fucking too late, but I definitely want to make that a thing next Christmas, and we should definitely do something special around the anniversary of the show in August. Oh, yeah, we'll do an anniversary show, and I think we'll probably, I don't know, I can't... It really I sucks, can't, though, I but... can't think, like, that far ahead, but, like, I don't know if we'll hit 100 before uh, then, or... I feel like you could do quick math or like that if we're doing two a week. We might hit 100 around the time of our anniversary, because there's, like, 52 weeks in a year, and if we're doing two a week... That's kind of cool. And, like, we weren't doing two a week for, like, the beginning, so it could actually work out to where we hit 100 around the time that is the anniversary of the show. Either way, we have lots of ideas, and we're loving the podcast, and we're enjoying everyone that listens and everything, and sorry that life has gotten us a little, like, shitty, but we're good now, so... But, I mean, like... We're about... I mean... What's just... What's... 
before we get into like bencho time, let's just end it on like some like words of encouragement because like yeah. shit could be thrown in your way left and right and Mid- like fucking <sighs> things that you never expected to happen could just like flip your life upside down and it could be shitty for fucking months. But and you if- could be terrified and crying a whole lot. And like <laughs> really just like anxious and depressed and like upset about life and everything not wanting to do anything feeling like everything is but if you hold on to even the tiniest sliver like i feel like we had a whole lot of hope when you first got laid off then once the bing thing happened that was when we kind of just were like we almost gave up but we didn't like if you can just hold on to the tiniest sliver of optimism that something might turn around it could be the smallest thing or it could be the biggest thing something good will come to you if you are a good person i feel and you are vigilant vigilant and and you don't give up basically and because there's been many there's many times where i just wanted to give up i just was like i like well you had said many, many times that you just wanted to sleep until it was over and that's not that's how i feel when i'm feeling really really depressed so i get you and i hate it and I hated having to see you be... And I'm, I'm so happy that you're like a smiley little boppo now. Like, fuck. <laughs> I mean, I... Yeah, it... Things will turn around and... And, like, if I could have told myself a week ago that I would be all right now, like, Oh, fuck. yeah. Duh. And so when you're in it, you're never going to realize it, but... It will be... At least your situation will hopefully improve. Like, I really do believe that, like, if you're putting out good energy and you are working your fucking ass off, you can... Make this positive Try, and you can... Yeah, I know. And, like, Um, obviously... Now I'm, I'm like... Obviously you have hella privilege, like, let's be real. (laughs) Yeah, I know that. And it's fine. I do. I know. But it's not, like, you, you know... Yeah. (sighs) So, just accept that and move on. But, you know... You fucking made it. You made it through a really shitty time. I we made both it did. through the veil. <laughs> Honestly, never knew how lost I was until Bing fucked off. <laughs> now you're free. Microsoft. Okay, honestly, we're not really trying to drag them. If they do want to sponsor this podcast, hit us up. Um, oh <laughs> it's <my> fine. <God. laughs> I think you're In great. the meantime, sign up for Bing Rewards and <laughs> do that shit. Oh my god. I mean, I had a really interesting... Like, I, did I talk about the fucking, like, 3D printed foundation thing? That was... I just looked at uh, it. I no, might have talked about it. I... Oh, God, did you? I can't I don't, remember. I, don't remember. I just, I just I, saw I'm it, like, just sitting like, over there, and I just remember thinking, like, that was really cool. I'm just thinking about job right now, so, like, I can't remember what happened, like, five hours ago. <laughs> I know. Today was a wild whirlwind, but there was a lot of caffeine in our system, so... <laughs> That's all. Yeah, I'm hungry, so let's yeah. binge it up. Get Shorter some episode fun. today, but I mean, fuck, we want to go be fun. I want to, <laughs> yeah, I want to get fucked up, honestly. So that's kind of my goal. So let's, let's, yeah. I'm going to load you think of theme. Theme, okay. What's a good theme? How about like, um, we've already done autumnal. I was thinking Thanksgiving feast, but I don't know if it's like too soon. Is it too soon? That's too soon. It's too soon. I mean, <laughs> what do you do when you're just radiating joy? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Fuck. What about... I mean, I could fucking do Simlish again, and it would be totally different than last time, I'm sure, because I don't remember anything about Simlish, and I just kind of go with the ebb and flow. Oh, my God. And it was pretty well-received, I would say. What do you think? I mean, if you want to go in on that again... I can fucking go in on it. Yeah. You read right. the name, I sim it up. Sure, let's do it that way. All right, cool. All right, uh, starting off... Wait, wait, wait. If you're wondering what the fuck we're about to do and what bench time is, you can (laughs) check us out at coffee... Wait. Patreon.com slash coffee with Rachel to find out about how to become a bench and to help support this lovely podcast that we love so very much. And if you don't want to support it or you don't have the money to, don't feel obligated. We literally don't care. We love you all. Just keep sending us pictures of your pets. Like, that's <laughs> I was, enough. I was waiting for you to say, like, Patreon.com slash Rachel Cooks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. You're right. I, don't, I probably will you fuck probably it up. You probably will fuck it up one time. Yeah. Okay. Nicole Dowling. 
Niklar Blabadu. Oh my god. <laughs> Brynja. I, please tell us if that's wrong. Barn you. <laughs> Shut up. Caitlin Shalda. Kalarbi Shalbu. <laughs> <laughs> I love doing this. Selena Rodriguez. Salubi Raguka. <laughs> Carissa. Karar. <laughs> I'm just picturing like everybody flipping their shit like as we're listening to this because like everybody loved it the first time. Like, I, I hope you guys like it because I enjoy this <clears throat> a lot. Sloan Fuller. Slano Flarpa. <laughs> <laughs> Stephanie. Stefana Cowie. Oh my god. That's like they're asking questions. Oh my god. The fact that you know this. I hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany Owen. Brua Oaba. That was flirty. Oh. Oh. Allison Shannon. Alarcy Shansu. <laughs> Angelica Feliz. Angelica Falarpi. Maria Spanos. Marcy Spantu. <laughs> Katie Gallardo. Cody Gallardo. <laughs> Sarah Seaman. Sara Badabo. The fact that you don't even fucking, like, hesitate is fucking me up. I am a sim. <laughs> <laughs> Dana Daly. Darno Doolada. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little fucked up. Lenny Wells. Larny Woolsa. <laughs> oh, I should do, like, an angry one, like, imply your mother is a llama. Kylie Williamson. <gasps> Kylie Williamson. Kyar Wazaki! <laughs> <laughs> Betsy Moscato. Bootsy Moscati. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally different each time, I bet. Ma- it's like... What? I was just gonna say, it's like one of those river stones. No two are alike. Uh, oh my god. I hate myself. Fuck off. Megan Wilson. Margie Wilbo. <laughs> Kelly Kay. Kali Kata. <laughs> Brittany Livingston. Ribby loves Steakin. <laughs> Claire Wood. Claire Wooda. Oh, sensual. <laughs> Kelly Adams. Kylo Adambins. <laughs> Temple Murray. Tumpla Marasi. <laughs> <laughs> this is so great. Hannah I love Peterson. It. Hannah Patarson. <laughs> Jenna Gordon here, you're still the upper dick. Mm, you're the uh, Juno Gorpadon. <laughs> the upper Gorpadon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Melissa Andrade. Malus Andrade. <laughs> That's like, shoo, I'm trying to woohoo. You oh know? my god. Yeah. Sasha. Sarsh! <laughs> <laughs> Michaela Jernigan. Marky Jadoop. Oh, oh, fuck. Marky Jadoodle. <laughs> I'm so sorry I fucked that up. Jurgen's natural glow deserves more than this. <laughs> Brandy Coates. Brandy Katatsa. <laughs> <laughs> Marisa Bell. Marcy Bula. Larry Brinson Jr. Larzy Bronson Bonger. <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge. Sarah. That's it? Sarah. <laughs> Sri Racha. Oh my god. Ooh, if we did like the spice cabinet one time or oh, something. Oh shit. That's... We should do condiments slash spices. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Seasoning. <laughs> Seasoning. Seasons binging. <laughs> Lexi Ortiz. Lazaka or Tuchel? <laughs> Brittany Cella. Blarby Silla. Bridget Dubin. Braji Dubasa. <laughs> Grayson Clark. Goopy Carbonara. Fuck. Yeah, bitch. Fuck. Yeah. Vlyn Vance. 
Vlargo Vladonsi. <laughs> Hillary Gay. Hillary Goo. Oh my god. Gabby Chambers. Goopy Chambers. <laughs> <laughs> Goopy Carbonare. Oh my god. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> Jennifer Holtz. Holtz. It's a Blarpa. <laughs> Johnny Holsa. <laughs> oh my god. Courtney White. Cor Kazwala. Oh my god. Bree Lynn Mistol. Blarp me Mustaka. Oh my god. Sophie Smith. Safu Smitha Day. <laughs> Elizabeth Doles. Elizabeth Dossel. <laughs> Shelly Smith. Shirley Smaka. <laughs> Rachel Least. The least you could do is say her name in Simlish. Come on. And it's Robly Luskin. Mm-hmm. Mackenzie Knight. McCarthy Nibasa. And lastly, Rachel Evans. Ruli Ivana. Beautiful. Wonderful. Beautiful. Beautiful. Susu! Oh my god, please stop. <laughs> I hope that really gooped your carbonara. <sighs> Thanks for listening if you made it through this hot mess. Yeah, sorry it's a shorter episode, but I mean, last one was the longest episode we were fucking done. So, yeah, I mean, the uh, least we could do is just not have a little up. moment on night where we, you know, hey, fucking. We're good. Yeah, we're good. Thank you guys for supporting the show, for being here, for being awesome. You for guys making are. us laugh, for making us cry, for showing us your chunks. This show has been like one of the positive things throughout this entire time, and now actually we can have some episodes where I'm employed for them. And like, like happy. Yeah. <laughs> like that's kind of nice, I'd say. Possibly. Um, so thank you for having a cup of coffee with us. Yes, thank you so much. Hmm, yes. Mm, yes, quite. And thank you, Stephanie, for this delicious, <clears throat> robust pumpkin bice. Bice? Bice, whoa. Pumpkin. Bison. B- pumpkin bison. <laughs> I've actually eaten bison. Ew. I had, hey, it was actually really delicious. Hey, I have had alligator. <laughs> it tastes well, like see you later, crocodile. Oh, um, fuck it up. You fucked it up. <laughs> okay. You fucked it up. Um... Uh, yeah. Check out coffeescratchel.net because... <laughs> you just said check out coffeescratchel. No, I said coffee with Rachel. The W was silent, I guess. <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to shout out the website. Say it again. Coffeewithcratchel.net because yes. it's a website that I made and it's kind of fun. Check it out. There's been fonts <laughs> that we've discussed Fonting. in depth. Yeah. Fonting. Defont. Defont.com. A great place to download fonts, by the way, if you're into that. <laughs> um, or you can make your own if you're cool. Um, yeah, let's clink it up, I guess. Yeah, let's clink it up. Let's go eat some pho. All right, we love you guys. See love you later. You. Bye. Bye.